This is a short video to demonstrate the termination of our LMR 900 dB cable with our new EZ900 NMH-2 connector. This is a two-piece end mail connector. All that's required to terminate this cable is a very simple tool, ST900 clamp tool. It's a two-sided tool, it also can be used for the 1200 cable, and two inch and a quarter open end wrenches. The first very important step is to have a nice square cut on your cable. After that, you want to take your tool, make sure you have the right side of the tool, look into the tool, make sure there's no foreign material, any plastic jacket material left over from the last time you used it. Place that onto this cable and in a gentle clockwise motion, strip away the jacket until the tool spins freely. Remove the tool. At this point, you also have a silicone packet that's applied with the connector. Slice that open. Go supply, apply a little bit of silicone around the jacket. S such. Separate the aft from the forward sections of the connector. And the aft section of the connector is going to be an O-ring for weather sealing. Also apply silicone to that O-ring. At this point, you want to take this aft section of the connector, place it over the braid, over the jacket, make sure it's square to the cable, take the palm of your hand, press that onto the jacket, push it all the way back. At that point, you're going to get some of the braid to protrude beyond the gland washer built into the aft section of the connector. You just want to take that braid and just fold it back. Start at any point and just work right around the core. Fold that braid back. At this point, you want to take your forward section of the connector, take the spring finger pin, get it started into the center conductor, Again, use the palm of your hand, just push, snap that center pin into the center connector of the cable. Pushing down the forward section of the connector, bring the two sections, the forward and aft sections of the connector together. When you have them hand tight, there's flats on the connectors sections, for the inch and a quarter wrenches. You just want to tighten that up until you squeeze that O-ring in between the four and a half sections. At that point, you're done. You have a good mechanical and a weather tight seal. You have the O-ring in the back section, silicone on the cable. You've tightened down that O-ring between the four and a half sections. And of course, you have a weather seal in the interface itself. And that's it.